we always talked about personal bests uh, when I was coaching. And I know Fern does it too. I think that's probably just something most track and cross country coaches do. Talk about bettering yourself every race. The best thing about track and cross country is you're up against yourself before you're up against all the other athletes. And if you're always improving yourself, you'll move forward. I want to thank Dave. Uh, Dave exemplified the track athletes that helped turn some of those track teams around in the mid 80s uh, to league champions for both men and women. That was our goal back then. Fern's goal was to win state. We just <laughs> wanted to win the league. So, and that was a big accomplishment when we did that uh, pretty much within three years, starting in 85. Uh, before attending the, oh, I want to say this uh, about personal bets. I really have established three tonight for myself, if you'll let me be a little selfish for mine. In the back area, I, I'd like those cross country and track athletes that came tonight, just because I'm here to stand for a moment. I want to honor them because I haven't seen I grew down the state, and I haven't been on this property for eight years, and I haven't seen many of them for 30 years. So, uh, Terry Walson uh, probably has a bet out there with several of you that I won't make it through this without being smoochy and crying a little bit, but I'm gonna do my best. The order we get, we tend to do that. I tend to even shed tears during Hallmark movies now. Uh, before attending the, the, I keep forgetting my other PBs, uh, my wife, Doreen, 43 years. <laughs> Anything I'm about to say after this, uh, I don't include her, because she's the one that was with the kids most of the time, my own children. Uh, even though we, I gave them as much as a father could, he coaches and teaches and does the things we do. You coaches know what I mean. Uh, but she was always there and helping sorting uniforms, doing actually the uniform laundry to those track kids who turned their uniforms in unwashed. Uh, she was there taking care of that. Our living room used to look like a laundry mat, to be honest with you. The third personal best is my mother-in-law is here tonight, and next month she's gonna turn 90. I don't think that's a personal best I could beat, but I'm not real sure. <laughs> so I'm really glad that she's here and supporting uh, us tonight. Before attending the pregame activities last night, I was all proud of myself um, because I had finished a rough draft of what I wanted to say during this brief time that had been allotted. I had lots of statistics and descriptions of champions and championships to share. I'm probably going to spend an hour. But that rough draft of my mind slowly began to fade when my wife, Dory, and I met David Wagenhorn in the parking lot of CJ Chumps last night. It's been about 25 years since I've seen Dave. We wanted to connect before heading over to the pregame. We immediately hugged in the parking lot and that entire 25 years seemed to dissipate and could become more like just yesterday. During dinner, we talked and talked, but our conversation was rarely about statistics and champions and championships. It was our memories of the athletes, the assistant coaches, the camaraderie we had, and the relationships that were developed during those seasons. After dinner, we pulled into Wayne's parking lot, where I was immediately welcomed by one of our security guards who I've known for over 20 years, and it felt like family. We were directed to go through the designated gate for the Hall of Fame inductees, and it was an emotional reunion of people from my past. We were surrounded by former athletes, their parents, their colleagues, and coaches, all hugging and bringing back those moments in time that we sort of store away in that closet of our brain. You athletes know the feeling. It's one of those moments when the adrenaline is coursing through your veins and you can hear and feel your heart racing. 
But instead of anticipating the sound of a starting gun to begin a race, our referees whistle, signaling a potential Braxton Miller spin move at the line of scrimmage. I anticipated the next hug and the next memory as we gathered for the pregame introductions. During that swirl of emotion, Gloria Eubanks, now Gloria Eubanks Speak, one of my former track and cross country runners, was observing all of this. I was too caught up in the moment. She looked at me and quietly said, are you beginning to realize the impact you've had on people? And it dawned on me that that is now the athlete coaching the coach. And I understand that this entire Hall of Fame experience is not so much about statistics and wins and losses, champions or championships, but more about the relationships and the bonds that were created and are created during our time participating in Wayne High School's athletics. And I'd be remiss if I didn't mention one athlete on my mind tonight. I was so thrilled. It's going to be a hard part. I was so thrilled when I received that phone call from Mike Fernandez, Fern, about this recognition. Mike was one of my star athletes, a Western Ohio League champion in 1989, and state athlete. To have one of your former athletes eventually take over the coaching position that you once had is extremely rewarding. He and his assistants have taken Wayne track to an even greater success than those from my past. The first t-shirts we had printed in 1985 did read, Coming Alive in 85. But if I were to print a t-shirt today, it would read, We may have come alive in 1985, but today we continue to thrive. And just like old times, Mike, after one of your races, I'm coming to you to say, well done, young man. <laughs> In closing, I remember telling our track and cross country athletes during my coaching career to not live in the past, to always move and think forward, to live in the moment that you're making memories. But I'm breaking one of my own rules tonight Although I'm living in this moment, the last 24 hours for me have given me a wonderful journey back to the past. And finally, we all celebrate our lives and achievements. And I want to thank God, who I believe has a hand in all of our accomplishments. May he continue to bless the athletes of Wayne High School, their parents, their teachers, support staff, and administrators, and because of him, I'll always honor and cherish this recognition for years to come. Thank you.